career into gear was really wonderful. We had some marvelous people donate their time to come and you know do mock interviews with the students, to look at their resume reels, to go over their resumes. It was great for me because I had um, decided that I'm going to spend the next two weeks working on my resume cover letter and figuring out what am I going to put on my reel. And it came out at a perfect time. We had panel discussions going on that talked about branding, freelancing, monetizing, that talked about bouncing back. I just think it was a really nice event to see working journalists coming together with students and alumni who are all t together trying to figure out what's the next step in our industry and what skills do we need to develop. You know. I think one of the key things if you're starting a blog is write short things, write many things, um, and link to other people. It's excellent for me because I'm just entering the job market right now. I graduated a week ago exactly today actually, so I'm just starting. It's great to get advice from professionals who are deeply rooted in the industry and kind of know how things work. I try to uh, be realistic with students and recent graduates and say, just be aware of this. Don't give this away. This is all we have. This writing, these stories, these are worth a lot. They're worth, they're worth gold to some people. Whether you just graduated in 2009 or you graduated in 1988, journalism has changed. and. This was an opportunity to bring together the NYU community and discuss what's happening in journalism and what kinds of skills are going to help. I'm uh, a couple of years out of NYU, but I, th I still think it's a good chance to come back to your old stomping grounds and sort of um, reconnect with people, and not only that, but make new contacts. I think once you get out of school, it's really difficult. You don't have all of the support network that you do while you're a student. and. I think with all the changes going on in the industry, it's really good to feel like there's someone you can go to and ask for advice. Because the market has changed so much from the time that I've graduated to now, it's a good way to see what people are saying. I felt that now in a time of such industry uncertainty that it would be interesting to do an event that was more about how do I keep looking? How do I handle the anxiety of looking? How do I deal with the stress I'm feeling, the physical stress, um, from not knowing what the future will hold? You could um, seek help in different areas that you needed help. For example, for me, I thought uh, I wanted to learn more about my interview skills. So that was great. I saw a few of my classmates doing different things, working on the style or uh, stretch or, you know, different things. So it, it gave you enough opportunity to go about what you thought are your area of weakness and what you can work on. It was good to see familiar faces and the food and the wine always helps. Hello, Journalism Institute. I had a great time. It's been wonderful working with your students. We've gotten a lot of feedback. People want to do it again. So I think it was definitely a success.